Today, I am Kathleen Jepemerta of BSC 4C and I'll be presenting a sample problem in eccentrically loaded welded connections. So, uh, nagbigay na si Via ng overview about the welded connections. And dito sa eccentrically loaded welded connections, uh, merong possibility na magkaroon ng rotation sa ating connections. And this is solved in terms of force per unit length Q. And uh, hindi lang direct force yung kinakompute natin. Meron din tayong kakompute na torsional force. So, for the components of direct force, meron tayong X and Y component. And the formula for X component is uh, QDX is equal to P multiplied by DX all over the summation of length. And for the Y component, we have QDY is equal to P multiplied by DY all over the summation of length. Para naman sa pag-compute ng torsional force, um, the formula for X component is uh, QTX is equal to T multiplied by Y all over the summation of L uh, multiplied by the quantity of L squared over L plus X sub T squared plus Y sub C squared. And for the Y component, the formula is QTY is equal to P multiplied by X all over summation of length times the quantity of L squared over L plus X sub C squared plus Y sub C squared. And for the torsional moment T, is equal to P multiplied by E, which is the eccentric distance. So this hour, T is equal to the torsional moment equal to P times E. So, X and Y is the coordinates of any point on the weld measured from the centroid of the weld loop. And the X sub C and the Y sub C is the horizontal and vertical distance of the centroid of a weld from the centroid of the weld loop. And for the maximum intensity of weld force, we have Q sub A is equal to the square root of quantity Q dx plus Q dx squared plus Q dy plus Qtx squared. So for the sample problem, a plate is attached to the frame of, of a machine by side fillet welds as shown in the figure. Determine the size of the welds to resist a vertical load of 150 kN. Assume that allowable shipping stress at the throats of the weld is 145 MPa. So, ang hinahanap natin dito sa problem is the size of the welds or yung thickness. So, as you can see here in the figure, yung length ng weld natin is hindi pantay-pantay. So, ang centroid nito is hindi natin basta-basta uh, ma-identify. So, for this uh, P, per force, which is equal to 150 kN, uh, magkakarate ito ng torsional moment, which is also uh, magkakaroon tayo ng eccentric distance. So, first thing we need to do is compute for the direct force. Makikita nyo dito sa figure, we only have a vertical force which is uh, P is equal to 150 kN. So, wala tayong horizontal force, kaya yung QDX natin I will, uh, will be equal to 0. And for the QDY, we have given the formula P, DY, all over the summation of length. So, sa P, given naman na siya, which is 150 and for the summation of length, is sum up lang natin yung length ng ating weld, which is 100 plus 200 plus 200. This is equal to 500. So 150 multiplied by 1000 all over 500 is equal to 300 newton per millimeter. And next naman is, we should find the centroid of the weld group. For us to determine also the eccentric distance of this force E. So, using the Verignon's theorem, compute natin yung centroid of weld group. So, the formula for that is, for, for in, the, in terms of x, we have the formula L times the x bar, which is the centroid of the weld group in terms of x. And this is equal to the summation of length of weld multiplied by the centroid of the distance of the centroid of the member 
from the reference line, which is equal to L sub 1 times X sub 1 plus L sub 2 times X sub 2 plus L sub 3 X sub 3. So, nagset tayo ng reference line dito kung makikita nyo yung uh, red line is, is our reference line. So, for the centroid of the group in terms of X, we have 500 which is the length of the weld group times the X bar is equal to 100 times 50 in distance ng centroid ng member from the reference line plus 200 times 0 plus 100 times 100 and our x bar is equal to 50. Then for the y inverse of y, we have L times y bar so centroid ulit ng weld group in terms of y is equal to the summation of length of the weld times the distance from the reference line in terms of y is equal to L sub 1 y sub 1 plus L sub 2 y sub 2 L sub 3 y sub 3. So we have 500 y sub bar y bar is equal to 100 so yun, times 200 plus 200 times 100 also plus uh, 200 times 0. So ang y bar natin is 80. And then, ipa-plot na natin kung nasa yung centered natin. So, in terms of x, we have 50. And then, y bar is 80. So, itong bilog na to, makikita nyo dito yung, ito na yung ating centered of the group. And then, we need to compute for the torsional force. But, we need, uh, we, we need to compute first the The torsional moment which is t is equal to p e so yung e natin is the eccentric distance ng um, ating force na 150 kN since dito is meron na tayong 250 mm and ang ating x sub bar is equal to 50 and meron tayong length ng weld dito na 100 mm so if this is 50 merong may matitirang 50 dito and our eccentric distance will be 250 plus 50 is equal to 300 millimeter. So, for the torsional moment, we have PE equal to 150 multiplied by 300, yung eccentric distance natin. And magkakaroon tayo ng torsional moment na 45,000 kilonewton millimeter. So, since we have uh, computed the torsional moment kanina which is the for, which is equal to 45,000 kilo newton millimeter uh, we need to compute for the polar moment of inertia para masatisfy natin yung equation sa pag-compute ng torsional components of torsional force so for us to compute the polar moment of inertia we have given the equation L times the quantity of L squared obga plus x sub c squared plus y sub c squared so, matatandaan nyo kanina, yung x sub c natin and y sub c is the horizontal and the vertical distance of the cent centroid to the weld group and yung centroid no mismo weld. So, ang una muna natin yung co-compute dito is yung uh, weld AB. So, distance niya is 100 mm. So, um, for, for weld AB, we have L, which is 100 mm, yung length niya. And then, 100 squared, multiplied by 100 squared, all over 12, plus yung horizontal distance niya is 0, 0, so this is 0 squared, plus um, yung distance neto from the center of the weld group is 120 mm, so 120 squared. So, for length AB, the polar moment of inertia is 97,733.33. And for weld BC, ang length niya is 200. So, 200 multiplied multiply by 200 squared all over 12 plus yung x distance or yung horizontal distance niya from the center of the weld group is 50. So, 50 squared plus... Um, Next naman is yung 20 
So, baka siya naging 20. So, um, kung makikita niya dito yung rank ng Welby's is 200. So, ang center niya is half into 200, which is 100 millimeter. And then, we have the Y bar, which is 80. So, 100 minus 80 is equal to 20. So, for weld BC, we have the polar moment of inertia equal to 669,566.67. And for weld CD, its length is 200 millimeter. And then, so this is multiplied by the quantity of 200 squared all over 12 plus the distance or horizontal distance niya is also 50 squared plus um, yung y bar natin na 80 80 squared so for well BC we have the polar moment of inertia equal to 675,566.67 and then dito sa formula ng components of torsional force um, we need the summation of the polar moment of inertia so the summation of polar moment of inertia is equal to 1,442,866.67 So for torsional moment, na compute na natin ito kanina, equal to 45 times 10 raised to 6 Newton millimeter. Yan. So meron na tayo, compute na natin yung polar, summation of polar moment of inertia and yung torsional moment. So, makakompute na natin yung components of torsional force. So, dito sa figure, makikita nyo yung mga naging reaction sa point A, sa B, and C, sa D. So, lahat yan, merong reaction ng QT, QT. And then, ang ikakomplete natin na QT is yung uh, at point A lang and at point B since sila yung uh, weld na hindi magkaparehas ng length. So, first, uh, i-compute natin is yung torsional components of torsional force at point A. So, for Q, Dx, we have Dy all over the summation of uh, polar moment of inertia. So, torsional moment. Nasolve na natin ito kanina, which is 45 times 10 is to 6 newton millimeter. And then, uh, yung ating Y, vertical distance from the centroid of the weld group is, is 120 and yung summation natin ng polar moment of inertia which is 1,442,866.67 so yan direct substitution lang so we will get uh, 3,742.55 newton in 4QTX and for QTY, ganun din, magda-direct substitution lang. Ang naiba lang is yung X, of course, uh, this is the horizontal distance of from the centroid of the weld. So, we will get 1,559.40 Newton for QTY. And next natin yung compute is yung maximum intensity of weld force, which is given by the formula. Uh, Q sub A is equal to square root of the quantity of QTX plus QTX quantity squared plus uh, quantity of QDY plus QTY. This correction for this is uh, uh, QTY, not QTX. So, quantity squared. So, QDX, zero yun, since wala tayong horizontal force. Then, yun nakuha natin in QTX, 3742.55 quantity squared plus upper QDY which is 300 plus QT, QTY 1,559.40 squared. So we will get uh, 4,054.47 Newton per millimeter in or for maximum intensity of brute force Q sub A. The next one is the components of torsional force at point D. So, ganun lang din yung process kaya kanina. Direct substitution ulit, we have T, which is torsional moment equal to 45 times 10 raised to 6. Then, um, vertical distance of the, of the weld from the centroid 
of the well group, which is ED, and the summation of polar moment of inertia, we will get uh, 2,795 points to 3 newton. And for y component, QTY, we have 45 times 10 raised to 6 times 150, which is the uh, horizontal distance of the centroid of the well from the centroid of the well group all over the summation of polar moment of inertia. This is equal to 4678.19 Newton. So, for the maximum intensity of well force, we have uh, 0 let sa QDX plus 2495.03 quantity squared plus 300 plus the quantity of 300 plus 4678.19 quantity squared. So we will get 5301.97 Newton per millimeter for the maximum intensity of weld force. So, so next is you compute na natin yung thickness. So, to get that, meron tayong given formula na zero, Q is equal to 0 0.707 T F B. So, F sub B natin given naman na siya sa problem which is 145 mega, mega Pascal. So, uh, nirearrange lang yung formula. So, para ma-solve natin yung thickness. So, kanina, ay nakompute tayo na Q sub A sa point A and sa point B. So, kung makikita nyo, mas malaki yung sa point 2 sub A sa point D since ito yung, ito yung mas critical yung stress niya. So, yun yung i-adapt natin. So, kumbaga, parang naging conservative tayo dito. Kasi pagka sa A, mas maliit yung stress niya. So, parang pag ito yung kinuha natin, hindi na hindi masasatisfy yung stress na kayang i-resist doon sa point D. So, ang in natin is yung Q sub A ng point B. So, we have 5,301.97 all over 0 0.707 times yung F sub B natin which is 145 megapascal. So, ang nakuha natin thickness is 51.72 uh, which is also equal to 52 mm. So, ito na yung final answer natin. 52 mm yung thickness ng 